In this presentation, we'll talk about the capabilities of SciGen Side Capture when scanning and capturing documents within a legal environment. If you look at any document management system, there's four pieces the hardware, capture, archive, and search and retrieve. The capture component is the most important and can usually be the most time consuming if you're not using software to automate and make the process more efficient. In any legal environment, you've got a wide variety of scanning devices and image locations. You can have desktop scanners, scanning copiers, fax machines, production scanners, folders with non-searchable PDFs or TIFFs, and maybe even a DVD or a CD that's been given to you by opposing counsel with 10,000 non-searchable TIFFs or PDFs. So the real problem is how do you take and process all those documents in a seamless, automated, standardized method and post them to a back-end system where you can search for the documents or the terms that you're looking for? The answer here is SciGen SciCapture. So there's a real challenge in how to process that paper. Most of those firms are using scanners or scanning copiers to scan in documents as Adobe PDFs or TIFFs. But these devices have very basic capabilities. Pretty much all they'll let you do is scan to the image format. There's really no standardization, so across the firm you'll have folks uh, with customized folder structures and file naming schemes. All the documents aren't searchable. Typically they're using some type of desktop application to make them searchable after they've been scanned. This can be a very time intensive process. If you think about the process of scanning five documents from a copier, cleaning them up, making them searchable, and all the time it takes one by one to process those documents can be very painful. And finally, there's an overall lack of integration into the legal applications out there on the market today from scanning software. So if you look at processing challenges within a law firm, you start with the mailroom, incoming correspondence, how do we route it to attorneys? How do we, in a standardized and efficient manner, file information into case folders? How do we do bait stamping and redaction? Can we do those uh, in digital form rather than using a Sharpie or a bait stamp to, uh, to process those documents? Document assembly can be very time consuming. So we really need a way to do that online. And in the end, we need a, an application that can process all different types of formats, whether it's a TIFF, a PDF, a JPEG file, and, and other image file formats. So what SciGen SciCapture brings to the table is this advanced capture application adds efficiency, standardization, and flexibility to the process by reducing the required time, enabling a standard capture process, and providing the ability to send images and data to multiple back-end systems. The overall architecture of the product is very flexible. It allows uh, processing from hot folders. You can have multiple users participating in the overall processing of the documents. And the licenses are concurrent, meaning that you can share a single or multiple licenses among multiple users. From a back-end support perspective, SciGen SciCapture supports over 40 back-end formats in document and case management systems, including Summation, WorldDocs, LexisNexis, and just plain database, network folder output, as well as Microsoft SharePoint. So when you look at SciCapture, how does it give you more efficiency and more automation? There's a wide variety of feature sets, which I'll show here in the demo, which will give an overview of how we can auto-process, barcode, route, redact, bait stamp, and create searchable PDFs, all through a simple setup and configuration. In the end, what we give you is flexibility to utilize the product with any scanner or multifunction peripheral, and import files from media and folders anywhere on your network. So in summary, we'll provide automation and efficiency, give you an on-ramp for scanned documents that provides you flexibility and scalability. Now that we've got an overview from a presentation perspective, let's go ahead and demo the product and take a look at how we can process documents uh, for a law firm. 
So this is the Sci Capture interface. Uh, this is the interactive interface where you can sit at your desk and actually process documents. We can also run the application in the background and have it auto process documents uh, based on, um, you know, from a scanning copy or where you drop files into a folder and we can pick up an auto process. Let's go ahead and talk a bit about the mailroom first. And I'm going to click on, click on the capture icon. And then uh, we'll go ahead and select a demo here. Let's talk a bit about mail routing. And let's go ahead and pick up a sample document. So I walk up to my, my copier. I can um, scan my document. And I'll go ahead and show you this particular demo uses what we call a routing sheet. And a routing sheet is just a simple pre-printed sheet that you can have next to a copier or a scanning fax machine. Take your Sharpie marker and actually color in the different boxes. So in this case, we've got a type, a country, and then a file number. Now, when our product picks up and processes the document, it applies a template, automatically reads the boxes that are checked, and then fills in the fields. So you can see here, this is a patent document for the US. The file code is um, 12431. And then when it goes to the next document, you can see it reads those as well. Now, these routing sheets can also be used as separators. So you can take multiple documents, put these between, and scan them all in one big stack. Now, the end result of this process, and I've got Microsoft SharePoint running, so I'll go ahead and show off uh, how we can post documents to a back-end system. So if I take a peek, I automatically file into a case folder, into a type, and then I name the file with the file number, the country, and the case. Okay, And if I've got an application like Visit, I can come in and preview the document, or even launch the full uh, document viewer to take a peek at my, my document, do annotations, side-by-side -side viewing, things like that. Okay. So that's uh, one way that we can automatically route documents into a back-end system. Let's go ahead and take another peek. So I've got this Adobe file open, and uh, the other method we can use is barcodes. And we've got a built-in barcode generator in the product, and we've also got some clients that actually use Word macros to build these out and make it real easy to, uh, to process these. So this is a file that I can walk up to the copier and scan with multiple barcode separators. And when the product picks these up, it reads the barcodes, automatically splits them, and then files them based on the information that it finds. So if we go ahead and find um, my case routing, and let's go ahead, these are actually PDFs that I've scanned from a copier. Let's pick these up, and you'll see that when we pick them up, the fields automatically get populated with the barcode information. And these particular fields can be posted into, um, let's say, summation columns. They can be used to create folder structures or map to folder structures on your network drives. So there's a lot of different options that we can utilize for these. Now the last thing that I'll show you is the capability to um, both bait stamp and redact documents. So if I come in here, we've got a, a very robust bait stamping engine where we can actually um, bring in documents. And then apply a template to the docs. So you'll see when I go into uh, my quality assurance, after I've brought the documents in, it'll go ahead and bait stamp and we can use a prefix. We can even shrink the documents. Okay, based on uh, let's say 10%, so it stamps in the white space. Now, the last feature I'll show you is uh, our capability to redact documents. And redaction nowadays very important. You want to uh, prevent any uh, leak of confidential information. So, if I come in here, I'll show you a healthcare form that we'll go ahead and redact really quickly. So let's bring this file in, and when I'm done, we'll go ahead and automatically index it. So it's going to read the data, extract it, and then auto-redact the social numbers. Really quick and easy, ton of different features, great, great program for a law firm, 
If you have any questions, you can contact your reseller or sales at SciGen.com. Thanks.